Hey everyone, welcome back to Drupal Studios. In today's Roblox scripting tutorial, we're going to add a VIP subscription system to your game using Marketplace service. This lets players subscribe for monthly perks like extra cash, exclusive pets or daily rewards. Let's get started. So first of all, head over to the Roblox creator dashboard at create.roblox.com and you want to find your Roblox game. You'll be able to find it under experiences in the dashboard, select your game and you'll get a screen that looks a bit like this. We want to go down to monetization and select subscriptions. Subscriptions are monthly purchases made by a player to get benefits in your Roblox game. Let's click create a subscription. Give it a name. I'll just name it VIP. The subscription period is already set at monthly here and we can set the price in dollars here. It is important to note that the prices are in dollars so you will have to convert to your own currency but i'll select 2.99 per month this means that the user will pay 2.99 per month and on the first time they purchase it will make 209 robux each time it renews every month will make 299 robux so we make more robux for renewals than we do for first time purchases and the reason for that is because roblox takes a platform fee for the first ever purchase and the reason the app stores is a little bit more is because there's multiple platform fees being applied so roblox still need to make that money of course what i mean by this is if you're uploading to say the google play store they take i'm not actually sure what the percentage is but let's call it 20 percent they take 20 percent and roblox take 10 percent for example these aren't actual figures i'm not too sure what the actual numbers are then that's a 30% take. So Roblox actually make less money out of it. So they just charge a bit more to get that money back. We can also give it a description. This is a VIP subscription. The product type, we've got durable, consumable, and currency. So durable just means that the subscription provides a permanent inexperienced benefit. So if your subscription provides something that will last the entire time they have the subscription permanently, you will go for durable. If it's going to provide you something temporarily that the user will have to repurchase, for example, you get given a sword, like a, a powerful sword for two days and then you have to repurchase it, you'd go for consumable. If it's a currency, so if you're paying this, if you're paying the subscription to gain currency each month, then you'll select currency. This is pretty easy to pick from. I'm going to give a currency as an example for this video so i'll select currency so we do actually have to provide an icon for a subscription so i've just made a white box it has to be 150 by 150 pixels maximum so that's what i've done 150 by 150 pixel white box that's it and once we've applied the icon we can click create subscription and this is very important to note once you have created your subscription you will not be able to make any changes to it other than replacing the image that's fine let's hit create I did forget to mention you are actually able to change the description. So if you want to change the description of the uh, subscription, that's absolutely fine. Now let's hop into our Roblox game and let's create a simple leaderboard so we can reward players with extra cash if they're subscribed. So under server script service, add a script. I'll rename this to leaderboard. First, let's get the players. Local players equals game colon get service players. And each time a player is added, let's instantiate new leader stats inside of them players dot player added colon connect function player because we want to pass in the player that's joined the game local stats equals instance dot new folder inside of the player and stats dot name will just be leader stats i don't like using the same name as names that have keywords so rather than calling it uh, stats i'll call it leader stats now let's actually create a cash variable local cash equals instance dot new int value inside of the leader stats cash dot name equals cash and let's set the initial value to zero if you want to know more about what this code means and how to make leader stats and what they are please check out my video on how to make leader stats in roblox i'll leave a link to that in the description so this gives each player a cash stat that we'll use later now let's check if the player is subscribed using marketplace service so still in server script service, let's add a new script just to keep this separated. Rename this to subscription handler. In here, let's get our player service again. Local players equals game colon get service players. 
Again, each time a player is added, let's call a function. So players dot player added colon connect function passing in the player that joined. Now, before we run the code in here, let's get another service. Local marketplace service equals game colon get service marketplace service. This is how we'll get access to our subscription. And then we'll also get our subscription ID. Local subscription ID equals, and now we need to get the ID for our subscription. To get the ID for your subscription, go back to your subscriptions page on your uh, creator hub. Find where it says ID, it will say a string of numbers here. If you click this little copy symbol next to it, it will say copied subscription ID. Now we can go back here and paste our subscription ID in. And we'll just put some quotation marks around this because it is a string. Now back to our player added function. We need to make a protected call to find out if the player has the subscription. Local success, comma, is subscribed equals p call function. And now inside of this function, we'll just return a boolean to find out if the player owns a subscription. So return marketplace service colon get user subscription status async. In here, passing in the player and the subscription id and what this does is this will return true if the user owns the subscription and it will return false if the user does not own the subscription we can then say if success and is subscribed then so if the call was successful there was no errors and the user is subscribed using the subscription we've passed in then we can reward them first let's output something just to say that the player actually is subscribed. So just print player.name dot dot is subscribed. Just so we know they are subscribed. And then we can reward the player here. So we'll just say player dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals 1000. And this gives subscribed players a bonus when they join the game. You may wish to add a check that ensures the player does not claim this bonus multiple times per day by leaving and rejoining. I'll implement a time check feature shortly. One more thing I'm going to do is say, put an else in here and just warn. And I'll just create a little warning to say that it didn't work. Say so is subscribed equals dot dot is subscribed. Just so we can see what the is subscribed state is now let's start by just testing this so let's hit test and play so it does actually say that i'm subscribed but i've also been rewarded my 1000 cash here which is perfect it is also important to note something i forgot to mention we'll go over to the three dots on your subscription and you will want to activate this subscription please read through this you basically need to choose a shortened name for your Roblox game, if applicable. I'm just going to leave it as it is, but please read through all the terms of service and everything related to subscriptions, because there's a lot more to it than what I'm showing you in this video. What I'm showing you in this video is purely just so you know how to program it into your game. Now, when we test this, it's actually going to work whether you own the subscription or not. So as you've seen, you already know that it works, but even if we don't own the subscription, for example, if I change this to a different ID and hit test and play, it still gives us the 1000 cash. The reason for this, let me actually go back to our own ID and let me print out is subscribed here. And when we test this, you'll see is subscribed isn't a Boolean. It's actually a table. I did lie to you a little bit, but there's a reason. I just wanted to show you why there's a table here. So is renewing is false and is subscribed is false. If you own the subscription, is subscribed will be true. If you've got it set up to automatically renew, then is renewing will be true. We are only interested in if they are subscribed. We're not, we're not too fussed about if they're renewing or not. So what we need to do is get is subscribed. So where we've got this is subscribed here, let's add in square brackets is subscribed. It must be spelled exactly like this. In fact, if you printed it out, just copy this and paste it in. Yeah, just to make sure if it's not spelt exactly capitals but spaces anything it will not work and now let's print out rather than is subscribed let's print out is subscribed and getting the key is subscribed as well and now we should get a true or false value in this case it's false because we don't own the subscription let's just add this is subscribed bit onto the end on line 16 here i've removed the little print statement as well because we need to wrap this into a two string here just because that's a boolean and we need to convert a boolean to a string. Now it should 
give our site error message. Yeah, it is subscribed as false. Perfect. Let's create a GUI so players can purchase the subscription. Insert a screen GUI into starter GUI. Add a text button. I'm not going to go too fancy with it. I'll just put it on the side here. I'll make the text say, I'll just make it say VIP. So I'm not going to go fancy with it. Insert a local script into the text button. This is a text box. So I just realized I want a text button, not a text box. There we go. Add in a local script. And in here, we will once again get the marketplace service. Here's game. Colon on get service, marketplace service, and local players. Is game colon get service players. Now we'll get our subscription ID again. Local, in fact, what I'll do is just copy it from here. Local subscription ID, paste it into our local script. Drop down script dot parent, which is the button. Dot mouse button one click colon connect function. And in this function, we'll get the player. So local player. In fact, we can do that at the top because that never changes. Local player equals players dot local player. And then we'll just say marketplace service colon prompt subscription purchase the player and then the subscription ID. And we can test this. Let's now test it. So it doesn't work. We hit this two ninety nine a month renews monthly cancel any time. If we hit subscribe, it does say here you, because we're in Roblox Studio testing this. This dialog is a preview showing you how your users will see the description of your subscription. You won't be charged if you click subscribe. So we can just click subscribe and it doesn't do anything, but it will now say that we are subscribed. Now, because of the nature of the code that I've made here, the player is going to have to leave and rejoin to be rewarded. But that doesn't work when you test it in Roblox Studio. You will have to actually own the subscription for that. If you do want to test if the is subscribed goes to true when they buy it, you could always add a while wait one do at the bottom of your server script. And then we'll just say print and copy and paste this here. And this is just a quick way of testing. And rather than player, we're going to have to... Well, we'll add this to the bottom of the player added function. So we've got the player there. Now if we hit test and play, every second it's going to print something. But if we now go and subscribe in studio, it gets updated to is subscribed equals true in one of the tables. So that's working. Of course, because we are only rewarding the player when they join the game here, and we're not doing constant checks, you can do constant checks just like that if you would like. But I'm just going to reward them so they'll just have to leave and rejoin the game to be rewarded. But you can easily apply your own sort of system here. Now we can find a system to reward the players every 24 hours. So again, very basic. I'm just sort of showing you how to implement it, not what you can do with it. But uh, what we'll do is get a data store service. So we'll store the time that they last got rewarded. And then as long as it's been 24 hours since the last time they got rewarded, we'll reward them again. So now they're getting rewarded each day. So again, in our subscription handler, we'll say local data store service equals game colon get service data store service local daily store equals data store service colon get data store daily vip rewards before we do all this let's just add a local key equals last claim underscore dot dot player dot user id local last claim equals daily store colon get async key local now equals os dot time and then after this is subscribed is subscribed bit we'll say and and then in parentheses not last claim or now minus last claim is greater than or equal to eighty six thousand four hundred then and then we'll reward the player and set daily store colon set a sync key comma now and this will just check if the last claim was it within the last day eight eighty six thousand four hundred seconds and we'll just update the time if you want a bit more information on data stores check out my data store tutorial i'll leave a link to that in the description or you can click on it top right of the screen and this will reward the vip subscribers every 24 hours now let's just test it one more time so 
it's not working because we don't have studio access to API services. When you're using data store, you need to click file, game settings, security, and enable studio access to API services and hit save. Now, if we test it, data store should work. We might actually be able to test the VIP altogether now. No, because we're not, we're not saving that is subscribed. If I hit VIP and buy it, again, it doesn't do anything because we're, we have to rejoin for it to give us anything. But because we're rejoining, we're not saving is subscribed, so it doesn't do anything. But Roblox will handle that part for us when they actually buy it. And there you go, that's it. You now have a working subscription. If this helped, leave a like, subscribe to Drupal Studios, and let us know what you want to learn next. See you in the next one.